Thank you. Madam Griffin. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, Chair. Uh, Prime Minister, thank you for being here and thank you for being uh, so refreshingly clear, which was great. I particularly liked your bridge across rivers and barbecue analogies, fabulous stuff. I welcome what you said uh, very warmly about the digital economy and the labour market and central to this being education and training and retaining high quality jobs in the European Union and enabling our young people to have the skills and abilities to access the high GDP jobs of the future. I welcome what you say on transparency in TTIP and the central role of citizens in all of our work. But I particularly welcome what you said about your partnership with the trade unions, Prime Minister. For us to achieve jobs and growth in the EU, critical to this is the social partnership and social dialogue. So I would like to know, Prime Minister, that you will continue in the vein that you've started in terms of consultation with our trade unions right across Europe. And just to echo what Claude said earlier, we need to protect and properly remunerate our creative industries and our creatives, and I'd welcome more thoughts on that. Thank you. You, I fully agree, and the last speaker who spoke about that was uh, MEP Griffin, who spoke about uh, the labour risks and things like that. We fully agree that we have to discuss about that. But again, if we don't prepare us for the new technologies, then it will be even more terrible than if we prepare and we... we I, for nowadays, I look just for my countries. We try to do the blue cards easier because we need people coming from India, people coming from South Korea, people coming from the States to work in our countries because we want, but we are not able to find our own stuff. And we have people creating even startups, and when they get successful, and I think it was MEP Federally who told that, when they get successful, they leave Europe. 